In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite setups from the PA boot over out of the bunch tied in in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become better Madden players. And so every single day on YouTube, we upload videos that can help you become a better offensive and a better defensive player in this game. And so if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it gets you access to all of my tips and strategies. Now in this video, we're going to be specifically talking about the PA boot over out of the bunch tight end. We're going to be sharing with you a lesser known setup, but one that I think is super, super effective. Now, if you have not already gotten my bunch tight end offensive guide, you can get that. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. I actually have an entire Jets offensive guide that breaks down the bunch, the bunch tight end, and the trips tight end offset. Um, so if you want to get that, that's on sale for just $15. And it literally gives you the exact offense that I use in weekend league and in money games to help you get better at this game. Now the play we're gonna be going over in this video is PA boot over. And the way we're gonna run this is actually a little bit unique. It's a little bit different. Um, it's something that I really like to do um, specifically against Mike Blitz 3, uh, but you can do this against different style of defenses as well. And basically what we're going to do is we're simply going to streak the X receiver, which is the tight end. We're going to take the square receiver and we're going to put him on a little curl route, just like so. And then we're going to take the running back and we're going to put him on a little in route, just like this. And these, this little underneath mesh concept is super, super effective. It creates a natural little curl flat concept on the left side of the screen. If your opponent is running a lot of zone drops and they're really getting aggressive in the user game, um, specifically against this, it's very likely that if they're running any kind of like Mike Blitz 3 style of defense, they're going to have a yellow zone over here on the right, but they're not going to have a yellow zone on the left. It's actually very unlikely that that's going to happen. And that's where this really comes in handy because this little curl route right here uh, in, com in combination with this little in route to the running back is super effective against a lot of different things that people do. The beauty of this is it still allows you to have what I believe to be one of the best routes in the entire game uh, on your field, and that is this little deep crossing route here from the triangle receiver. With the tight end running the clear out of this, it's going to make it more effective against match. Um, it's going to make it more effective against cover four style of defenses. Let me shift to a cover four defense right here just so that you can see it. Cover four drop typically actually does a pretty decent job against the P boot over, but when you use this in particular setup, you're gonna have a lot of success with, set success with these different underneath style of routes. On the left side, uh, one of the things that you're gonna notice as you're running this offense is, you know, you're just gonna be able to open up a little bit more windows. This is something that I really like to use because what it does is it forces your, your opponent to have to defend the underneath. You know, one of the things that is hard as an offensive player sometimes is that you don't want to take the underneath. In fact, you actually despise throwing underneath. You feel like you're not supposed to, but the beauty of this is that it will open up everything else. And if they're running underneath coverages, you can pop these little curls and these little in routes. This in route to the running back is super effective against both man and zone. It's one of the better routes in the entire game. Not very many people are using this at this point of the season. Um, I don't know why. I think it's just because it's a simple little route, but it really is a powerful route because you isolate the whole left side of the field. You give your best ball carrier a lot of room to be able to work. And that's part of what makes this so effective. So this is one of my favorite plays in the entire bunch tight end. Now, really quickly, I want to talk about a specific coverage out of the Mike Blitz 3, and that might be uh, something like this where you're seeing a lot of deep halves. Um, I find that I don't see a ton of that, especially on the short side of the field against this formation, um, because that really opens up this crosser. You're going to see that if they're running a lot of deep halves, you're going to have a lot of opportunity to be able to throw your crossing route. The defense that I would probably honestly um, be most concerned about is something like a little bit of a traditional Tampa 2, uh, which we'll show you that here uh, in just a moment. So you see here we've got kind of some some different zones on the field. You know, we've got a little bit of a traditional cover 2 Mabel coverage. Uh, and this is where, again, you can work your check down game. You have a nice little seam read right here to the tight end if it's open. Um, if it's not, then you can just step up in the pocket. But as you can see, I mean, this this crosser gets over a lot of zones. If they're running 30-yard zone drops on their flats, that's really the only way for them to stop it. And just assume, let's just assume for the sake of the video that the crosser is taken away uh, on this next play right here. And what you're going to notice is you're going to have a lot more stuff open as well. The underneath routes to your, you know, your running back or to your circle receiver are both really consistent reads right in there. That little 
easy check down. In, in worst case scenario, you're going to gain a couple yards. You're still going to keep the chains moving with this play. But really the route that I think is super, super um, underrated, and you can actually use some motion with this as well if you wanted to, um, is this curl route. So again, we're clearing out a lot of space. If you motion them out to the numbers, there's really not a zone in the entire game that's going to be able to cover that. As you can see, a nice little easy check down for you. This route combo right here really can help you a lot whenever the defense starts to overcommit to the delay fade, they start to overcommit to the crossing route, they really just start to overcommit to the right side of the field. This is something that you can pop them with that is really, really effective uh, to the left side. So if you want to get the exact offense that I use in Weekend League from the bunch tight end as well as from the entire Jets playbook, you can get that in the description of this video. I want to thank you for watching this video. And again, if you want to get my entire offensive guide, you can get that in the description for just $15.